Well, hello, it's Jelana here once again, and today I want to talk about the two selves um, that most of us display. There's our um, surface self, that's the, the self that goes about living our day-to-day -day lives without giving too much thought to the experiences that we're having. And then there's the core self, and that's the part of us that longs to break free and live a more fulfilling life, a life that's filled with meaning and experiences and adventure. And I think we don't give enough, enough thought to that side of ourselves. And in fact, what I have found in talking to um, most people, most women for sure, when thinking about what is it that we really, really want and pinpointing it, pinpointing not only what we want our life to look like, but what we want to be and feel on a daily basis, we often just don't know specifically with clarity exactly what we want. So of course it, it leads to overwhelm and frustration and stuckness. So I invite you to spend some time thinking about this, half an hour, half a day. It's up to you how deep you would wanna go, but the senses that are most, um, that create the most emotion for us are uh, sight, visualizations, uh, kinesthetic, what does it feel like? And I believe that um, things that you can hear, I think, was the other one. Those three things conjure up the most emotion for us. And if you know anything about manifestation, it's the emotion that is key. It's the feeling. And a lot of the um, visualization, audio, what can you hear in your visualization? What can you taste is great, but kinesthetic. What are you doing um, throughout that time, throughout that special, perfect day, and when you're being your perfect, ideal self. So with those things in mind, I invite you to ask yourself some questions and to journal about it. Um, where would you live? Maybe it's right in the house and in the town that you currently live in, and that's fabulous. Spend some time in gratitude, journaling uh, in your gratitude journal about that because that's pretty special. What would your ideal house look like? What would you even have for breakfast? Here's where the smell and the taste and visually, um, you can really, the reason that that's important is because you can really put yourself in that moment and really feel and smell what it would smell like and hear bacon sizzling or whatever it is for you. Um, but I invite you to really think about the details of that and, and get super clear on what you would like your life to look like and feel like and who you want to be in that situation. So let me know um, where that is for you. Where would you live? What would your house look like? What would you have for breakfast? Who would you be talking to? What would you be able to hear outside your window? For me, I think I would hear the waves crashing up, the sound of seagulls. I love that. All right, that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.